Hello world, it's Siraj, and OpenAI just released O1 Preview, which is the smartest AI in the world. I decided to give it access to my Coinbase account and ask it to make trades to see how much money it could make in 24 hours. And you can see the logs of it trading right here with my live Coinbase account worth $21,000 at the time of this video. And it's placing trades every minute based on what it thinks are going to be the optimal trades to make. In this case, it's going to be let's see ETH, ETH USD. It bought $5 worth of ETH USD and it's going to continually place these trades based on the market conditions, economic indicators, and anything else that it finds fit. And I'm going to show you exactly how to build this trading bot yourself in this video from scratch. And you can see these small trades that it's making with my live Coinbase account in the account itself. Here's all the transactions. That's really amazing. And it's using ChatGPT01 Preview, OpenAI AI's latest and greatest AI model, which I love to use. I've been hitting the limit on it. So I've been creating other accounts so that I don't hit the limit. It's great. It's amazing. It reasons. It uses chain of thought reasoning and reinforcement learning to make better predictions about what its output's going to be. And it's all about system two thinking rather than system one, which means taking your time before you give us an output. So in this case, it's going to be what's the best trade? to make, right? That's the best output that we're looking for. And the three tools that we're going to be using in this video are, first of all, Cursor, the latest and greatest code editor out there, which is basically Visual Studio jam packed with AI. Specifically, we're going to be using OpenAI 01 to create code, generate code for us without us having to code. And then we just accept that code, whatever it says to accept, we'll accept it and we'll build our entire app just through prompting alone, which is awesome. And we're going to be using our Coinbase API account to place those trades with our actual live account. And once we have this script, we're going to deploy it to AWS. That's right. We're not using Replit or any other easy Heroku tutorial. We're going right to the source with AWS. So buckle up. I'm going to set the timer for 10 minutes and I want to see if I can build this strategy for us in 10 minutes. And I want to compare it to GPT 4.0. So we're going to compare Chad GPT 01 preview to GPT 4.0 and see which one makes more money in 24 hours. All right. So let's get started with this. I built this strategy using my app Trader GPT, but we're going to build this from scratch for the sake of this video using Python. So let's get started by opening up Cursor. And once I'm in Cursor, I'm going to open up a new folder. And this folder, I'm going to call it Test Day. And inside of Test Day, I'm going to open up this new folder called Test Day. And I'm going to use Cursor's latest feature called Composer, which lets us build the class files from scratch. So I'm going to create a new class file called TradingStrategy.py that I'll reference in the composer window. So I'll open up the composer window by typing in command I, and then I'll ask it to develop this trading strategy. Please develop me a simple trading strategy for cryptocurrencies that outputs an optimal portfolio allocation amount like 50% Bitcoin, 50% Ethereum based on, and, and just let's just have it do that for us. And the great thing about Cursor, as opposed to just having Visual Studio code in one window and then Claude in another window, is that it makes these code edits in line. So we can see it with the green and the red, which is great. So I'll apply those changes and then automatically, I'm going to try to run this code with Python 3 tradingstrategy.py. And the first thing it's gonna do is it's gonna probably uh, error on us. It didn't. So it gave us exactly what we wanted. We wanted this allocation. So let's see now how it's giving us this allocation. So it is giving this, this, this allocation. Please explain. Let me ask it to please explain why it allocated that amount. And it's going to give us an explanation for it based on individual volatility. And okay, that's great. What else can we do here? This, this works. It's going to change uh, every so often probably so let's now make a second file and this second file is going to be called trade executor.py and what trade executor will do it's going to take the output of trading strategy and then actually place those trades with coinbase based on the output of this trading strategy so this one is based off of some simple strategy involving historical price data and then optimizing the portfolio based on volatility so it's computing a specific volatility index to make these trades so that's what we're going to do we're going to build a second file we'll ask composer to do that please now 
create a second Python file called tradeexecutor.py that will execute the trading strategy .py and print the results. So that's the first thing we want to do just to make sure that the wiring is there. And then we're going to add to that trade executor.py. So you can see that it's already created that second file for us here, trade executor.py. We'll hit accept all. And then we'll run now trade executor.py. Okay, great. It's doing exactly what we wanted it to do. It's printing those outputs. So now we're going to say, great, based on that, let's now place trades with Coinbase. So we'll say, thank you. Now let's update tradeexecutor.py to based on the outputs of the trading strategy. Let's have it place trades on my Coinbase account using my USD balance. And it will either buy or sell crypto to gain that portfolio allocation. So now I'm going to give an example. So let's say at first it says Bitcoin is 60% and ETH 40%. It will then make trades to allocate that portfolio. But let's say the next time it says Bitcoin 70% and ETH 30%, it will sell 10% ETH and buy 10% more Bitcoin so that the portfolio is rebalanced. Does that make sense? Please execute those changes. Now, this should be enough for us to update the trade executor.py with the Coinbase trade execution logic, including buys, sells, based on what that trade strategy has told us to. So we can see three functions that it's created, get the portfolio value, execute those trades, and then execute that strategy. So we'll hit accept all and we'll run it. We'll hit run trade executor dot pi. No module named Coinbase. So I'm going to say, please give me an optimal requirements dot txt file to install any dependencies that I need. Create that file. Okay, it's created that requirements.txt file. I'll hit accept. I will now install my dependencies by saying pip install uh, requirements.txt. That will install Coinbase and any other dependencies that I would need. And then I'll run that updated trade executor.py, which contains the Coinbase trade execution logic by typing in Python 3 trade executor.py. And what I want to see is a specific error here, which tells us that we don't have the right uh, Coinbase credentials. That's right, missing API key. So I'll, I'll give it that error. And it's going to say, hey, here's what you did wrong with the error. Make sure you've obtained the API key and the API secret. That's the issue, right? So we're going to get that API key and we're going to get that API secret. We're going to accept all by adding those in. So I have an API key right here that I'm going to paste in. And I have a secret here that I'm going to paste in. And now that I have them, I'm going to run this code on a, you know, comment out execute trade for now to make sure that uh, this is going to work and we'll try it out. Here's the output. I'll give it back to it to try to fix it. Okay, it's going to make some changes here, which I'll accept blindly. Now it says there's no module named Coinbase uh, Pro Python, so it's going to probably update the requirements.txt file to include that. Okay. 
and it's going to update the trade executor accordingly with those changes. Now we'll try it. No module named Coinbase Pro because I need to install the updated requirements.txt. Here's the error. Okay, we have an updated requirements.txt. We'll install it, accept all the changes. Excellent. So now we have a working strategy using our Coinbase code and it is going to make these trades. So now it's able to place trades. It's basing that off of the logic of the web. And now we can deploy the strategy, right? It's two Python files. That's it. And requirements.txt file. That is our trading bot. And if we want to improve it with 01, which we're about to do, we're going to use this prompt. So this prompt is going to be, please now implement ChatGPT01 to base on current market conditions. Upgrade the trading strategy dot pi to be optimal or leave it alone if the market conditions don't require changing it. That's it. It's going to, every time this, this code runs, it's going to run ChatGPT01 uh, via the completion API. And then it's going to just check, should I be updating this trading strategy? If not, don't do anything. If yes, update the code so that the inputs that it uses are different. Maybe it's going to use a different set of APIs. Maybe it might use a different set of indicators. Maybe it might choose different assets. It's going to dynamically allocate uh, those trades. So let's accept all of these changes that it's made. It's created a strategy optimizer using the OpenAI API key. So it created its own class file just for uh, Omni. So right now it's using GPT 3.5 Turbo, which we'll just set to 01 preview. And we tell it you are an expert cryptocurrency trading strategy analyst. Please provide specific recommendations for improvements if necessary. We give it the current trading strategy. We look at the current market data. We get that from the Yahoo Finance API and we input our OpenAI API key here. So let me input my key here exactly where it says. And now we can run this code. Okay, it's using an older version of OpenAI, so we need to fix that. Got to use the latest version. This actually always happens with AIs. They always use the old version of the OpenAI API for some weird reason. Okay. Okay, now here's the output, and we can see the output of Omni here, where it's making improvements based on the market conditions. It's saying, okay, Bitcoin has experienced this. It might be beneficial to consider updating the trading strategy, yada, yada, yada. So it's using O1 preview to update those trades dynamically. So now that we have these, these scripts, we have tradingstrategy.py, tradeexecutor.py, and strategyoptimizer.py. We're going to deploy this as a cron job to AWS, which means it's going to run this script at set intervals, in this case, every minute. So let's do that. Let's go to AWS. We'll create a new instance by saying launch instance, and we'll call this uh, Coinbase test. And this Coinbase test instance is going to uh, use T2 micro. We can keep it small and eight gigs is fine. We'll launch it with one click and we'll use my existing Amazon key pair. And that is basically a .pem file that you get when you create your AWS account to start off with. And it's just downloaded locally. And we can see this new instance here, Coinbase test. And I'm going to say, here's my instant summary. I'm going to use these details to connect in a new window. So I'll open a new cursor window and I'll say open with SSH and I'm going to add a new SSH host. So what should my new SSH host be? And I'm going to give it these details. And it's going to tell me exactly how to connect via cursor it's going to say, use the public IP address. I'm going to use that public IP 
use my SSH config, host added, connected. Now that we've connected to our Amazon EC2 instance, we can run this as a cron job. So please show me the command to run this strategy as a cron job every minute. So we just need to create this cron job and we'll say cron tab E. We'll type in this path to this trading strategy. We'll save it and that's it. And now it's going to run every minute of every day. It's going to output the results to tradinglog.txt and we can monitor it in real time. So that's it for this simple demo code. Uh, it gets better over time. It improves the trading strategy. Let's come back in 24 hours and see how my Trader GPT 01 preview strategy did. All right, looks like it actually lost $2.38 over the past 24 hours and uh, the GPT-4 O strategy actually errored out. So O1 preview was able to fix its own code successfully and reliably. Whereas GPT-4 O, it saw that the market conditions were not as good and it tried to fix the code, but the code errored. So 4 O made $0 and uh, O1 preview lost $2.38, which is actually good news because it was able to work. If you want to deploy these trading strategies yourself, but you don't want to go through all the hassle, you can just use my app, tradergpt.co. That's why I built it. I use it myself. There's a huge community. We all use a bunch of different trading strategies. Um, they're private. I can't share them with you, but we have a lot of fun. We have a live chat. I'm very active in it. So sign up for Trader GPT if you're interested in this. And if not, the code for this video is in the description. I hope you like the video. Until next time, happy trading.